Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to compile Romebot, or I guess less specifically, all of my Discord bots, and even more broad is basically any Python-based Discord bot. Um, this is to convert it into an executable file, uh, a .exe file, um, and it's not that hard to do. So. Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to, sorry, I had to install that. You need to pop over to, I didn't have it open, that, discord.app.com slash developer slash applications. And then you need to create a bot, uh, or an application, click new, then go into it, and then do this stuff if you want. Then pop into bot and then it's like create bot or something um, and yeah so then we'll want to create a token um, we'll just copy it here um, obviously I'm going to regenerate this after I finish recording this and then we're going to paste it into Romebot so or whatever Churchill bot, T-bot, whatever bot you're using from me and then we're going to control S then we're good in Rombot for now. Well, actually, in general. So, then we're going to go copy Rombot from its folder. Um, and then we're going to put it into another folder. And I call it compiled shit. And then we'll see that this is the exact same file. It's just a different location. And, yeah. So, next, what we want to do is open up a command prompt window in this location. So what we can do is we can go up here, click on it, copy it, control C or right click if that's your thing. Anyway, then we're going to go down here, hit CMD, and then we're going to type CD and then spacebar, and then we can right click to paste. And then I'll paste that directory we just copied in. And when we hit enter, it'll change the directory that we're working in to that. Now, what we want to do is ensure that we have um, pi installer installed. And you can find the command for that here, or just type it in. It's not that long. Um, yeah. So pop that into here, and since it's already installed, it's going to complain. Um, but the next thing we will do is, since we're already in there, we can type pi installer dash f capital F space romebot.py um, it does have to be exact so make sure it's the exact name otherwise if there's only one file in there you can just hit the first letter make sure it's capitalized correctly and then just hit tab and it'll auto complete and then we can hit enter and then it'll go through and compile it take its time. It's not too bad on my computer since my computer is relatively fast. Um, come on. Okay, so then we have this file, this, then these two, well these three folders created. Um, we want, all we care about is the one that's in dist. So here's the Rombot executable. We can double click that and we should get the message that it's working. There you go. Um, all that good stuff. And then, oh, this is only if you, I guess, have a bot that supports, or that posts messages to the terminal. I do, I guess. Um, so then, we can see it's online here. And we can do whatever. Test. Um, help. Mine publish or send you a private message um, yeah it has gotten a lot longer since that one um, yeah it's pretty simple um, oh, fuck, I don't remember the command Kaiser and then yeah it all works as normal um, it's just doesn't require a Python interpreter to be installed on that machine um, it does quite significantly increase the file size. It's up to almost seven or over seven megabytes. 
whereas raw Rome bot is only 15 kilobytes. Well, 14.6 apparently. Um, so, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this tutorial. If it helped you out, consider giving me a like. Um, and even consider subscribing. Um, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.